Hi Pisces, thank you so much for joining. Thank you guys so much for liking the video. I really appreciate all of your support. The details to this reading are located in the description box below, but be sure to take the messages that resonate, leave what does not resonate for someone else. During your pre-shuffle, I was getting a message of someone you're connecting with, feeling very impatient and anxious this week. Let's see. King of Swords, Three of Wands. Okay, this is somebody that wants to speak freely. Okay. Tell me more about that. The Hanged Man. There's been a lot of waiting in this situation. A lot of waiting. And so I feel like this person is getting really impatient and it's, you know, the King of Swords, the Three of Wands, they want to speak freely with you. They want to tell you exactly what's on their mind and exactly what's going on and they're getting very impatient here. They've really been trying to be patient though, I will say. This person did try, but they've just, they're losing their patience here. Three of Cups. The Hierophant. Taurus energy. So this is someone that you want to reunite with. This is someone that you had a good time with, okay? You feel really connected to this person. This is someone you feel as if there is a higher purpose between the two of you. How do they see Pisces? How do they see Pisces? Eight of Pentacles. They're wondering if you're bored of the situation. Tell me more. Two of Pentacles, Ten of Wands. They do see you as someone who's ambitious, okay? You might have a heavy workload for some of you guys, or you just tend to take on a lot. I don't know why they see you that way. They do see you work-focused or focused on your goals, your dreams. But I'm also getting, the, they, they're really burdened with this Ten of Wands, Two of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. They're really burdened because they feel as if there is a, there was a misstep or a missed opportunity between the both of you. Okay, so how do they feel about Pisces? Spirit, how do they feel about Pisces? The Emperor? They have very strong feelings towards you. What are these strong feelings? Two of Cups, Ten of Cups, the World, the Knight of Swords, there it is, the Impatience. There's something about you that really makes them feel, I have to say, masculine. Like this person really, you make this person feel desired or you make this person feel a very strong connection with you, okay, is what I'm getting. The Two of Cups, this is mutual. However, however you feel about them is clearly how they feel about you. You both want a relationship with each other, and I feel as if you both are losing patience for the situation to come together. Now, the World card, this is someone heavily motivated. They're feeling very motivated to speak with you this week. But it's like they're trying to remain in control with this emperor energy. They're trying to be mature. Okay, they feel as if they need to remain in control of themselves, but these urges are just too strong. What do they like about Pisces? 
Let's see, what do they like about you? <laughs> the emperor? We're gonna put that back, but you could come across as someone who is very dominant. Okay, alpha. The moon, your mystery. The page of cups, your playfulness. The hermit. And again, that goes back to you being an alpha. Like, I feel like this person sees you as a lone wolf. Or someone that just doesn't need a whole lot of people around them. Like, you don't, you don't come across as someone who needs validated by other people. But you also don't come across as too harsh and too stern. Like, you have a good balance between playful energy and lone wolf energy. Okay. What are their next moves towards Pisces? Spirit, what are their next moves toward Pisces, please? Seven of Cups, Three of Pentacles. Six of Wands, Ace of Cups. This is just them, like... They're very overwhelmed. Their next moves is to figure out if they should tell you how they feel or not. They want to bring it to your attention. But at the same time, guys, they're very confused by their own emotions. So it's like, all I'm really getting here is it's somebody who is really confused. They know they need to make a decision. They want to bring it to your attention how they feel. They want to know how you feel. But I feel like there's a lot, there's a lot going on in this person's life. Okay, yeah, Four of Swords. They're just very overwhelmed. And the Four of Swords indicates that they have been wanting to take a step back to consider all their options. Anything else for Pisces? We have temperance in reverse, the high priestess in reverse, Pisces, Sagittarius energy, and then we have the nine of wands. Queen of wands. So if you're a Pisces that is just really not at peace with this right now, your guides are wanting you to, I'm getting a message of being determined and focused on your goals. There's a message here to keep empowering yourself. There's a message here to keep finding peace within. Is what I'm getting for you, Pisces. You could be connecting with another Pisces, a Sagittarius, an Earth sign, okay, especially Taurus is here. We're going to do all signs, their sign. Let's see, Aries through Pisces. Aries through Pisces, please. Aries through Pisces, energy check. This is if you're dealing with this sign. Thank you guys so much for liking the video. If you're dealing with an Aries, they wish to be with you. If you're dealing with a Taurus, the Taurus is having a tower moment. They want your attention. If you're dealing with a Gemini, the Gemini, it takes a lot of strength for this Gemini to hold back. If you're dealing with a cancer, the cancer has, hasn't made a decision yet. They're closed off. They're having a difficult time. If you're dealing with a Leo, they spy on you. If you're dealing with a Virgo, the Virgo desires you, Nine of Cups. They want to be with you. If 
you're dealing with a Libra, they have strong romantic feelings towards you. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, Scorpio and you will reunite. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, spontaneous communication coming in from a Sagittarius. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, they're in mental conflict. Uh, they feel stuck between a rock and a hard place. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, there'll be a resurrection. If you're dealing with a Pisces, this is over. If you're dealing with another Pisces, this has come to a completion this week, okay? Alrighty, those are your messages. Until next time, bye.